we will discuss in this unit failure detectors. In a distributed system, reasoning about time makes designing and writing algorithms quite complex. Timing assumptions need somehow to be abstracted. One way to abstract timing assumption in a declarative and nice way is to use a device called failure detector. Normally, a failure detector is implemented using heartbeats and timeouts. We use a failure detector to encapsulate the notion of time. It is a black box giving suspicions regarding process failures. So if we have a process here, process P, and it is other processes like process Q. So each process will have a device called a failure detector. And this failure detector will give an opinion about whether other processes have failed or still alive. And that is a failure detector. So we use failure detector to encapsulate timing assumptions. As I said, it is a black box giving suspicions regarding process failure. And it turns out that accuracy of suspicions whether your suspicions are correct or wrong will depend on the strength of the model. So what is a typical implementation of a failure detector? So here is a typical implementation. We periodically exchange heartbeats, which are messages that are sent between the different processes. And we devise a timeout based on the worst case message round trip. If I send a heartbeat to a process and the timeout has passed, then I suspect that the process have crashed. If I receive a message from a suspected process, I can revise my opinion about that process and declare that this process is alive and I might increase the timeout if I made the wrong decision. The behavior of a failure detector can be captured by two properties or requirements. One is called completeness and the other is accuracy. These are two requirements of a failure detector and there are different flavors of these requirements. So what is completeness? Completeness is a requirement regarding processes that has crashed. When do I have to detect the crash? So here we have a process Q. Q has crashed. And here is my process P with its failure detector. And the issue now, when P can detect the crash. So here is the question related to detecting the crash. The other interesting property is accuracy. Accuracy says if I as a failure detector of process P declared that Q has crashed, did it really crash or I am mistaken? Q might be just slow to respond. So if I'm at process P, I detect that Q has crashed. Did it really crash or not? So accuracy is a requirement regarding my opinion about alive processes when I'm allowed to suspect that a process has crashed. Let us look to see if we can achieve completeness and accuracy on the various distributed system models. So we have the asynchronous system model where there are no timing assumptions. We have synchronous systems with tight timing assumptions and partially synchronous system which is in between synchronous and asynchronous. In an asynchronous system where we have no information about message propagation delays and processing delays, 
Is it possible to achieve completeness? I don't know how long time a message could take, but completeness is talking about if a process crashed, when, if at all, I should detect the crash. One way to achieve completeness in an asynchronous system is to immediately suspect that all processes have crashed. So if a process has crashed, the suspicion will be correct. Now, is it possible to achieve accuracy in an asynchronous system? Yes, it is possible. And here we are quite lazy. Just to be safe and do not make any wrong decision, we refrain from suspecting any process. The question that comes out now, is it possible to achieve both? I.e., is it possible to achieve both in the asynchronous system? And the answer is emphatically no. Failure detectors are only feasible in synchronous and partially synchronous systems. And for those two different types of system, we are going to devise different kind of feasible failure detectors. By feasible, I mean failure detectors that can be implemented given the properties of the model. So let us look to completeness property. And we are now talking about strong completeness. This is one variant of completeness. And it says that every crashed process is eventually detected by all correct processes. So a way to draw it. So here we have a process Q and it has crashed. And if it has crashed, it is always detected by any other process P. So this is will detect the crash. So the process crash, it will be detected. We only study failure detectors with this property. The reason is that failure detectors with this property are quite realistic to implement in the synchronous model and the partially synchronous model. In the partially synchronous model, if you didn't get a heartbeat for a process for a while, you just suspect the process. This guarantees that processes that actually crashed will be detected. Another variant of completeness is weak completeness. So what is weak completeness? It says that every crash process is eventually detected by some correct process. So if a process crashes, some of the alive processes will detect it. This is saying that there exists a time after which all crash processes or nodes are detected by some correct nodes. We completely say that every crash process is detected by some correct process. So just to summarize, so we have completeness. There are two types. There is strong completeness where every crash process is detected by all processes and weak completeness where each crash process is detected by some correct process. So now we will discuss accuracy. Accuracy is talking about if a failure detector declares that a certain process has crashed did it really crash? So here we have a situation where so I have a process, P, it has a failure detector, and we have another process, Q. Now, P detected a crash. So the question is, did Q really crash? So this is accuracy. Accuracy is talking about if I detect a crash, does that process really crashed? So accuracy, as you can imagine, depends on the underlying system. So let us first consider strong accuracy. Strong accuracy is saying 
No correct process is ever suspected, which means I will only detect crashed processes, only. So another way of saying it, for all processes P and Q, P does not suspect Q unless Q has crashed. So a question is if this type of strong accuracy is realistic. Strong accuracy requires a strong assumption. It requires synchrony. And it also says that you cannot have premature timeouts. Another variant of accuracy is weak accuracy. Weak accuracy says that there exists a correct process which is never suspected by any other process. So we have a correct process P here, and here all other processes. So this process P is well connected. So that these processes never suspect P. So these processes never suspect P. So that process is well connected. Over time, there is always one correct process that is never suspected. This might change as the process becomes faulty. So what do we have? There exists a correct node or process P, and all correct nodes never suspect that process. That is during a whole execution, which would mean at any point in the execution of a program, there are always a correct process P that is never suspected. It is still a strong assumption because it requires there will always one process or a node that is well connected. So this required that the process is well connected and the communication network here is predictable. So again, we have accuracy and accuracy is either strong which says whenever a process is detected to have failed, it really have crashed. And then we have weak accuracy, which says there is one process that is never suspected. One can go further and define variants of accuracy that are weaker than we just defined. Eventual strong accuracy says that after some finite time, the failure detector provides strong accuracy. Eventual weak accuracy, which says, after some time, the detector provides weak accuracy. So after some time, the requirements are fulfilled. Prior to this, any behavior is possible. So these are weaker properties. So the question is these weak assumptions. Can this be achieved? If we think about things eventually work well, then we think about partially synchronous systems, where after some time the system behaves well.